Who was your favourite X-Men growing up? Jean Grey. And I'm not lying. She really was. The, the first ever comic book I read was the Dark Phoenix comic book. And I never read another one until I got X-Men. And then I read the Dark Phoenix comic book again. So it's the only one I've ever read. So you really did. There are other characters in it, but... You're not interested in that. Not interested. Uh, did you ever talk to Famke Janssen about playing the character? I did. As soon as I got the role in X-Men Apocalypse, I, I, I got her email and we emailed kind of back and forth about where I was coming from approaching the character and if she had any um, like movies or music that she listened to or any kind of material that she read to kind of get into um, the psyche of Jean. Um, and... Uh, she also just kind of gave me her blessing for the role, which was really nice to have. Because, you know, when you take over a role from someone, you always kind of want to make sure it's okay with them. And she was lovely. So. It's like the passing of the torch. Exactly. Um, it really is like a full-on character to play. Like, what is the biggest challenge, like, going into that? Ooh, there were a lot of challenges playing this character. Um, I think the biggest challenge was just kind of trying to ground all of these fantastical things that are happening to her and ground it in something that will resonate with the audience and it's not just kind of like oh look at those crazy things that are happening to Jean you know and so we wanted to um, study mental illness for it specifically um, schizophrenia dissociative identity disorder and addiction and so that was the hardest not the hardest but it just took the longest and it was a process to kind of figure out um, what's going on in her head in, in this movie so so that was extensive, but it was fun. That's amazing. That's really cool. Um, there's some brilliant action scenes in this film. You know, what was your favourite to shoot and what was the most challenging to shoot as well? Oof. Lucky for me, I'm telekinetic, so I just kind of do this. But I, I did a lot of wire work and um, it's always fun going up on wires. I love it. I think, you know, that's movie magic. Um, but the most challenging one to shoot was probably... There was a scene, there's a scene in it where I am kind of trying to defeat the bad guys and these these bad guys are coming at me, but um, they're otherworldly and they run incredibly fast. And so they would be on a wire that pulled them along really quickly and they would have to stop right in front of me and we had to make sure the mark was just right because I had to hold my hand out like this. And they would come very close to my hand to the point where I would be like oh my god is my hand am I gonna break my hand but it was a lot of fun that was the most dangerous thing and it really wasn't that dangerous it was it was just fun you're all safe I'm safe I'm unhurt <laughs> that's good um you have a lot of quality time in this film with Jessica Chastain who's obviously new to the sort of franchise new to um movies I think I think, I think her first she's one. up and coming she's got a bright future I'd say she does um what's it like working with her it's amazing working with Jess um to have such amazing scenes uh, between two like very strong female characters who, um, and Jessica's character is an antagonist, but she's also kind of empowering Jean. And so it's these really wonderfully complex scenes that aren't just between good and evil. Um, so that was amazing. But also Jess is so much fun to work with. She's like, she's a real prankster. She likes to have a lot of fun. She parties a lot, not parties a lot, but she like dances a lot on set. Um, she sings. She's just she's just so much fun to work with. 